In this video, you're going to learn how to make a square video, both create it and export it right from Adobe Premiere Pro. Great for social media videos, Instagram videos, or any purpose where you need a perfectly square video. Let's create a square video. It's very easy. So I'm gonna do something like turning this video into a square. Awesome, so we can do this from scratch or we can use an existing sequence and turn it into a square. So typically, I'm just going to redo this. You would have a sequence and you, I always recommend starting a sequence by simply dragging your video footage into this new item button because that creates a sequence that matches that video settings. But in this instance, we don't want it to match because video cameras don't actually shoot in square then we have to adjust it so it's not matching. So what we can do with any sequence is go up to sequence, sequence settings. Here I shot in 1920 by 1080 HD. So what I would wanna do with this is match the horizontal to the vertical. So 1080 by 1080. I don't wanna do the opposite. I don't wanna do 1920 by 1920 because that would be stretching the horizontal aspect and that would make this video a little pixelated, which I don't want. So 1080 by 1080 is great, perfect for Facebook, Instagram, really any online platform that allows square videos. If you do have a specific aspect that you want, you can set it to something like 500 by 500 if you want. You can also export at a different size later on. So I would leave it at 1080 by 1080, leave all of these fields the same so that they do continue to match the footage and click OK. It's going to ask you and tell you that your preview files are going to be deleted, which is totally fine. It's just going to have to re-render everything. And so now we have this square video. So here we can go in and we can move our videos around, resize, add titles and text, just like any other video. And then once you are done, so let's just make this a little bit shorter, we are going to export. So if you want to export, you can go to File, Export, Media, or just on a Mac, that would be Command M. On a PC, Control M. So here we have all of our settings and currently it matches our source. So it's matching our timeline, which is 1080 by 1080. And that's good. So we want to leave it at that. If for some reason it's not matching, just make sure you click the match source button here. There really isn't a preset that you can use for squares, but we can create one our own really quickly. If you do want to match the settings that they've created for, for example, Facebook, but do it in a square way, you can click this 1080p for Facebook, but now the size isn't right. So what we want to do in here under our basic video settings is uncheck this link option and then change the width to 1080, again, matching what our sequence is. Also, make sure that your aspect is square pixels. Sometimes people have this off, and you, even though you're exporting a square, it comes out stretched. S make sure that this is set to square pixels. Now it has the bitrate settings and everything set to what Facebook would like. I recommend changing bitrate encoding to VBR2 pass. You don't necessarily have to keep the target bitrate at 12, but you can. And also I always choose use maximum render quality up there and render at maximum bit depth. If you do want to save this as a new preset, just click this save preset. We're going to call this Facebook 1080 square or whatever you want to save it. Click OK. And now if we export or click Q to export through media encoder. Now I don't know where this is going to save it as, so we will find it. So now we have this square video that we can upload to Facebook or any other social media platform and it will play in this square format. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below in the comments. And if you're looking to take your skills to the next level, make sure you head over to videoschoolonline.com where we have premium courses, more free tutorials and articles, guides, and all kinds of stuff that will help you become a better creator. Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.